Watsons, if napapanood nyo to, please restock or else sa Mercury na ako bibili ng gamot. Tara! <laughs> Hi everyone! Kumusta kayo? My name is John Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang topic natin for this video is all about the most lightweight sunscreens that you can find in the Philippines. Now, marami na tayong na-list down na mga best sunscreens in previous videos and maraming mga options dun na lightweight naman. Pero, marami sa inyo is nag-request for two things. Number one, you wanted more lightweight sunscreens and number two, ginusto nyo na yung finish ng sunscreen sa skin is less shiny or parang less na nakaka-oily throughout the day. So in this video, hinanap ko na ang mga best of the best when it comes to sunscreens that are both lightweight and with a finish na either matte or kung hindi man siya matte finish, parang medyo natural and less shiny sa skin. And the best part is, for every budget level, there will be a sunscreen recommendation for you in this video. So with that being said, let us begin. So as usual, sinapirik ko ang mga sunscreens natin into three different budget levels. Starting with our first, this is for those na maraming budget. So for this one guys, this is again one of the few times na hindi ako makikipagsabayan sa kung ano yung internationally famous or kung ano yung mga cult favorite na products simply because meron akong nahanap na locally available product na honestly, hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi pa siya kumakalat sa ibang mga skincare content creators abroad. And this product is none other than the one, the only, Frezzy Derm Sunscreen. Now, you might have already heard of this product sa ibang mga Filipino YouTubers or even mga Filipino celebrities and of course, you've probably seen this sa clinic ng mga dermatologists dito sa Pilipinas. So actually, itong sunscreen na to, very very well known siya locally. Pero ang nakapagtaka guys is, bakit hindi pa to parang pumapatok sa international skincare community. Now, hindi ko talaga alam kung bakit, but I digress. Basta ito talaga guys, in my very humble opinion, this is the best sunscreen to get in the Philippines na locally available and yung hindi ka mauubusan ng stock. Now this is an ultra lightweight chemical sunscreen na may matte finish. It's also water resistant and it's SPF 50 plus broad spectrum meaning nagpro-protect ito not only from the UVB rays na nakaka sunburn but also from the UVA rays na nakakakos ng dark spot spots and aging. Also, for those na sensitive ang skin, this is also fragrance-free and alcohol-free. And yung consistency and texture talaga nito, guys, yun yung superstar dito. As in, unang spread mo pa lang sa skin mo, mafe-feel mo na agad yung parang ultra feather-light, airy texture niya. And it glides so easily into the skin and yung finish niya is very matte and walang paramdam na white cast at all. This is clear as day. No wonder derms in the Philippines love this so much kasi guys, ito talaga yung sunscreen na literal na parang wala lang yung feeling sa skin mo. As in, itong ito yun. Also, for those na mahilig sa makeup, this is literally just like putting on a primer. And I think based sa ingredients nito, you can actually also use this as one. Now, for the price of the Frezzy Derm sunscreen, ayun nga lang ang talagang pinaka-catch niya. It's not the cheapest sunscreen out there. For a standard 50 ml, nakuha ko to sa Shopee for 1,650 pesos. Which actually, parang bumili ka na lang din ng mga sikat or cult favorite sunscreens like La Roche-Posay or Eucerin. Which, don't be mistaken, ito level to sa mga brands na yun. Kasi guys, this is also actually a European brand. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Greek brand. And based lang sa personal preference ko, I like this better kasi out of stock din naman lagi and mahirap hagilapin yung La Roche-Posay or yung Eucerin. Meanwhile, ito sa Shopee, hanapin nyo lang siya, lagi siyang meron. And kung mawalan man ng stock, Lots of derm clinics carry this as well. Pero kung wala kayong budget for this, walang problema. We move on to our next category. This is for those na medyo may budget. So sa budget level na to, marami akong mga personal favorites na lightweight sunscreens that I've mentioned in my past videos. Like for example, itong Kenmake, itong Omi, and even itong bagong formulation ng Face Republic. I still find myself using these sunscreens from time to time and these are some of my favorite sunscreens still. However, may isang common Common complaint kayo sa tatlong to and it is the fact na for you guys, medyo shiny siya sa mukha. Now, ako kasi na-perceive ko yon as just a natural dewy finish but apparently not everyone likes that dewy finish. So, okay, fine. Maghanap tayo ng sunscreens na not as dewy or shiny as these three. Starting off with a sunscreen that literally feels like naglalagay ka lang ng soothing gel on your skin. This is one of my newest favorites and it is the Derma X Professional Acne X 
Sports UV Gel. Now, admittedly, hindi ko masyadong pinapansin yung brand na to before. I always just saw this sa mga skin station kasi I think in-house brand nila to. But apparently, there are dermatologists out there na nire-recommend itong product na to sa mga pasyente nila. And recently, naging available din sila sa Shopee. So, I decided to give this a try. So, this one is a broad spectrum SPF 30 plus PA 3 plus chemical sunscreen na water-based. It's also sensitive skin friendly kasi fragrance-free and alcohol-free ito. Also, this uses the UV filters and Sulizol and Neo Helio Pan AP. Hindi nyo kailangan ni memorize yun or anything, pero ang notable lang sa mga ingredients na yun is sila yung mga sunscreen ingredients na mas friendly for oily skin kasi nakakatulong sila sa pagka-gel type and watery ng sunscreen na to. And speaking of gel type and watery, that is exactly the texture for this one. As in, literal talaga guys, parang naglalagay lang kayo ng aloe gel or Celatec moisturizer sa skin ninyo. It's hydrating and has a bit of a watery finish at first. Akala ko nung una shiny siya, pero kailangan nyo lang talagang smooth siya ng mabuti and your skin absorbs it really, really fast. Actually, nanibago ako nung sinuot ko to pang labas kasi kapag pinapawisan ako, usually, nafe-feel ko yung sunscreen na parang gumagalaw-galaw sa face ko. Pero ito talaga, as in yung level na akala ko, nakalimutan kong maglagay ng sunscreen that day. As in, ganun siya ka-watery and light and it absorbs in your skin so fast. As in, para talagang soothing gel, paulit-ulit. Now, the Derma X Professional Acne X UV Gel for 50 ml costs 720 pesos regularly, but nagdi-discount si Derma X from time to time, so I was able to get this at just 612 pesos at Shopee. Next up, from a watery finish, balik naman tayo sa smooth, silky, and matte finish. And this one, madaling-madali lang to hanapin sa mga Watsons. This is the Biore UV Perfect Face Milk. Now, I think marami sa atin ang na-overlook ang sunscreen na to. Me included. Kasi matagal na pala tong available. Pero kapag Biore kasi, ang usual na naaalala natin or yung parang top of mind na product natin is yung UV Aqua Rich na sunscreen. Now, well, not bad naman yung UV aqua rich. Medyo mas shiny kasi siya for me and marami rin nagko-complain na with that product, parang throughout the day, nagmamantika sila. And that's why I think mas magugustuhan ng mga oily skin types itong perfect face milk, lalo na sa weather natin na humid kasi mattifying ito. And isa to sa mga sunscreens na hindi ako as oily throughout the day kapag ginagamit ko siya, especially if I reapply this throughout the day. Now this one is an SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus, mineral and chemical sunscreen which is water and sweat resistant and according to Biore, it could also double as a makeup base already. So, this one should play well with makeup. Now, admittedly, in my experience, hindi ko pa ito try extensively with makeup. I've just tried this with tinted sunscreen. So, I'm still not sure how this plays with concealer and or like foundation. Also, sa mga sensitive skin dyan, this is fragrance-free but it does have alcohol. But again, alcohol isn't necessarily bad sa skincare. Ang job niya is really to help the UV filters or the sunscreen ingredients in this product absorb faster sa skin natin. Na kung kaya naman ng skin mo yung mga sunscreens na merong alcohol, it should be no problem. But just be extra careful if your skin type is very sensitive or you have rosacea or eczema. Now, as for the consistency of this, okay, meron tong parang iba't ibang mga stages na pinagdadaanan kapag nilalagay mo siya sa skin mo. As in, parang umiiba-iba yung anyo niya. As in, nung una ako talaga tong ginamit, parang medyo naguluhan ako. Ano ba talaga yung texture nito? Pero okay, i-explain natin siya. So, it starts off as a milk, as in very, very fluid siya. And then when you rub it on your skin, mafe-feel mo parang hala but nagiging oily and shiny siya. Pero hindi pa siya doon natatapos. The more you smooth out the product sa skin mo, bigla siyang magiging parang almost powdery. And then ang ending mo is a really, really matte finish. So again, for makeup junkies, parang kang biglang nagka-primer sa mukha. As in, ganun yung feeling. But all in all, this is again, very lightweight. Very minimal lang yung mafe-feel mong nasa skin mo. And ang pinaka-favorite ko talagang feature nito is yung nape-prevent niya yung parang sobrang kintab ng face mo throughout the day. Especially if you reapply. So, I would recommend this for those na nahahagar dun sa kintab ng face nila, or even for those na nagsusuot ng makeup and nahuhulas siya because of your oiliness, this can definitely help keep your face matte. Now, the Biore UV Perfect Face Milk is at 435 pesos for 30ml. You can get it online and in Watson stores. Now, for the price, pwede na. It's not the cheapest sunscreen, pero siguro mid-range and ang advantage talaga nito is sobrang dali niyang hanapin. Alright, now gusto ko lang mag-add ng parang runner-up or like honorable mention in this category Gordy para mas marami rin kayong options. Kasi itong next product na i-mention ko, parang medyo hati ako sa kanya. May mga things na gusto ako about this product, but there are also things na 
hindi ko masyadong gusto. But I'll share it anyway and kayo mag-decide if you guys like it or not. So this sunscreen is the Misha All Around Safe Block Aqua Sun Gel. Now this one is an SPF 50 PA4 Plus chemical sunscreen and unlike its name, it's not really a gel. As in, mahiyasa na to dun sa Derma X Professional kasi yun yung totoong gel. But it's also still very lightweight and has a hydrating and matte finish. Now for those with sensitive skin, do watch out because this has both alcohol and fragrance. Again, depende yan from person to person sa kung saan sila hiyang. But be extra careful if your skin is more sensitive. Now, unahin natin yung nagugustuhan ko rito. That is the texture. Now, sobrang ganda kasi ng balance nito between hydrating and matte. Kasi sa last three sunscreens natin, it's either one or the other. Pero ito, mafi-feel mo na hydrated yung skin mo. But at the same time, pag nakita mo siya sa mirror, hindi siya kumikintab at all. As in, sobrang kudos to Misha for coming up with this consistency. And kung yun lang naman talaga yung usapan, this would easily make it into my favorite products. However, yung pinakamalaking problema ko talaga rito is yung amoy niya. As in, hindi fragrance as an ingredient ha. Kasi again, depende yun sa sensitivity ng skin from person to person. Pero ang hindi ko talaga nagugustuhan is yung literal na scent nito na nilagay nila dito. As in, hindi ko talaga siya gusto. Alam nyo ba yung amoy ng mga parang sinaunang sunscreens? As in, yung mga sunscreens na nilalagay mo kapag pupunta ka sa beach or magsiswimming nung bata ka, parang ganun yung amoy niya. And baka ako lang to, pero hindi ko talaga trip yung amoy. As in. So that's why sobrang torn ako dito. Kasi texture, A+. Maganda siya. Pero yung amoy, as in weird. To Misha, please, you don't have to remove the fragrance here. Just change it at least. Kasi talaga sis, ang weird ng amoy. Now anyway, if you'd like to try this one, ang price nito is actually just around 300 to 400 pesos price range for 50 ml. Now that's actually another reason why I like this sunscreen because sobrang mura niya compared to the other sunscreen brands that we have. As in by far, this is the cheapest sunscreen per ml so far that we have compared to the others. So I Ayun, kung okay naman sa inyo yung amoy, honestly, this would be a really, really good sunscreen. And now, moving forward, let's go to the favorite budget level ng lahat. This is the one, the only level 3 ng titipid or drugstore budget. So, in this budget level, gusto ko lang ulit i-mention yung isa sa mga favorites ko sa drugstore sunscreens na personally, kinoconsider ko rin to be lightweight. And this is yung Dermaction by Watson's Water Drop Gel Cream. Now, natapong ko na ata to actually kasi hindi ko na siya mahanap. Pero, magpapakita na ako na Instagram story dito and you guys will see na simot na simot ko talaga siya. And I do always mention this sa mga TikTok lives ko. As in, this is really one of the best drugstore sunscreens that you can get in general. Kasi maganda yung SPF protection niya. It's water resistant. It's also very hydrating and watery lang talaga yung finish niya. Ewan ko lang talaga kay Watsons kung bakit kulang na kulang lagi yung stock nito. As in, Watsons, if napapanood nyo to, Please, restock or else sa mercury na ako bibili ng gamot. Chara! But anyway, if you do want to see a full review of this, you can check out my sunscreens under 500 pesos video. And may kita nyo rin sa video na yon na yung finish ng sunscreen is actually a bit on the dewy side. So, okay, fine. Hindi natin siya fully i-feature sa video na to. But I just really thought na it's worth mentioning kasi talaga go-to sunscreen ko yun. But for those who want a more matte finish, eto na talaga guys, we have our most price accessible in this this list and it's from none other than the brand Omi and this is their Sun Bears Super Strong Plus. Now for those of you na part na ng Facebook group na ginawa ng mga viewers ng channel na to, you guys are probably there saying, we've been new mama ang tagal na naming alam tong sunscreen na to. And honestly guys, kayo rin talaga ang reason kung bakit napatry ako dito kasi dati hindi ko din talaga to masyadong napapansin. So this sunscreen is an SPF 50 plus PA 4 plus chemical and mineral sunscreen and this is all also sweat and water resistant. Tapos yung finish nito is also matte. Also, the sunscreen is alcohol-free, but it does have fragrance, pero nasa very last naman siya ng listahan, meaning it's probably very, very little. Now, as for the consistency, very similar siya doon sa Biore Perfect UV Milk, but this one is definitely faster to absorb and mas lightweight siya by just a little bit. Now, ang finish nito is also matte, pero hindi siya yung parang powder matte gaya ng Biore. Parang mas natural na matte ito. And another benefit that you can get from this one is throughout the day, hindi ka rin talaga magmamantika as 
much compared to if gumamit ka ng parang ibang mga sunscreens na medyo shiny. Again, especially if you reapply this throughout the day. And as for the price of this product, you can get this at 29 ml for 260 pesos. Pero ako nakuha ko siya on sale for just 247 pesos. Now again, not bad naman yung price nito kung doblehin mo siya for around 60 ml, around 500 pesos na yun. And it's still cheaper than a lot of sunscreens that you can get for just 50 ml. And if you need any links to this product or any other product na minention ko sa video na to, nilagay ko na sila lahat sa description box below para hindi na kayo mahirapang hanapin sila. Now let me know as well what other types of sunscreens na gusto nyo pang makita na i-feature ko sa channel na to. And also, if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!